So here I have some chicken boobies that I've already cut up into sizable chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and season this meat with some salt and black pepper. Guys, it's all about a flavor, right? So make sure your meat is properly seasoned. I'm gonna flip this over and season the bottom part of the meat because I just wanna make sure the flavor is well rounded, okay? So don't skip out on this part and take your time to make sure you have enough salt and enough black pepper on your chicken because it's gonna make a whole lot of difference. So set the chicken aside and here's the rest of the ingredients. Some mushrooms, some onions, I have some garlic and spicy chilies, some parsley, cheese, I have my heavy cream, some flour, and my chicken stock. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to a heated pan and get to cooking my chicken. So guys, I'm gonna cook this chicken for a total of about seven to eight minutes. That's about two minutes on each side to make sure this chicken is perfectly cooked and perfectly browned. Guys, you need to add color to your chicken because color is flavor and no color means no flavor and nobody likes bland chicken. <laughs> but nobody likes overcooked chicken either. So make sure you don't overcook it. The cook time would depend on how large and how thick your chicken cut is. But for mine, it was about seven minutes until my chicken was perfectly cooked. So make sure you flip this and turn this around to make sure you get as much color as possible on every possible side of your chicken. So turn it around Around, move it around it's your chicken guys feel free to do whatever you want to do with it move this around make sure it's perfectly cooked and when it's perfectly cooked go ahead and take this bad boys off the pan and move on with making the sauce <laughs> So you see all the brown bits in the pan? That's flavor, guys. So add some butter and a splash of olive oil to the same pan. Melt on the butter and use that to saute your mushrooms. Guys, you need to saute these mushrooms until they begin to get tender. But while it's sauteing, go ahead and add your onions and cook both of these together until the onions begin to caramelize and your mushrooms begin to get, get soft and brown and you know it's getting cooked. At this point, you're gonna go ahead and add your garlic and your pepper like i say in all my videos be careful with the garlic do not burn your garlic okay guys you gotta be careful with your garlic don't burn it because it's the worst thing that could happen to you burnt garlic tastes really horrible <laughs> so at this point i'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and some black pepper just to make sure the mushrooms are perfectly seasoned stir this up and just keep cooking it for a total of about four to five minutes until the onions have caramelized the mushrooms are soft and the garlic is fragrant then you know it's perfect so after about five minutes i'm gonna go ahead and add my flour to my pan and i'm gonna stir this up and cook it for about a minute or two until i've completely cooked out the raw flour flavor so take your time here and make sure you cook out that raw flour flavor because nobody likes it so now i'm gonna go ahead and deglaze my pan with some chicken stock and let this simmer for just about a minute until it begins to thicken then you can go ahead and add your heavy cream so guys the amount of heavy cream and chicken stock you add would depend on how much sauce you want to make but this is enough for me oh well i'm gonna add just some more because <laughs> i like it to be really creamy so stir this up and let it simmer for just about a minute just keep stirring it as it's simmering and after about a minute or two of simmering go ahead and add your parmesan cheese or you can use any kind of cheese but parmesan is perfect for this recipe so i'm using my parmesan cheese once it simmers i'm gonna season this again with some salt and some black pepper keep stirring it while it's simmering then I'm gonna add my parsley and after my parsley goes in there the next thing to go in there will be my chicken so guys this dish is literally done it's technically done so I'm gonna go add my chicken back into my pan and look at all the juice <laughs> it's good to let your chicken rest because then all the juices come out and it tastes so good so I'm gonna baste my chicken with the sauce and go ahead and plate it <laughs> So make sure to cover all the chicken with the sauce. Keep basting it, keep basting it, because that gives the chicken some time to absorb all that juicy creaminess of the sauce. <laughs> so just do this as much as you want to make sure this chicken takes on as much flavor from the sauce as possible. And after you've done that, guys, let this simmer for about a second or two and go ahead and plate it. This is what it looks like, guys. I'm telling you, it looks so good. So go ahead and add a spoon or two or three or maybe a fourth spoon of the sauce on the chicken and it will be time to eat 
the yumminess. <laughs> Look at how tender and how delicious this is. Guys, I wish you guys were here eating this with me. It tastes so good. I'm going to take a few bites and um, I'll call it a day. <laughs> I love you guys.